on to the next one, uh, which will be made uh, by Julian Sansa Otim on visa research and forecasting model. Uh, Julian has a PhD in communication networks uh, from the University of Groningen in the Netherlands, and she's a researcher and lecturer at Makarere University, where she also had the Department of Computer Networks in the College of Computing and Information Sciences. Uh, she is principal investigator of the Drug Management Application Project in collaboration with KTH. And uh, she's also principal investigator of a NORAD funded seed project that analyzed the weather information needs in East Africa. So, Julian. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm very delighted to be here, and I thank the organizers for inviting me to be a part of this uh, workshop. Uh, I'm learning a lot from what is happening elsewhere in Africa. Um, yeah, so the title of my talk is Customizing the Weather Research and Forecasting Model for Operational Forecasts in East Africa. Uh, this talk is organized in four. Uh, I'll give an introduction of the weather research and forecasting model and its relationship to e-infrastructures. And then I'll give its relevancy uh, for East Africa, as well as requirements for it to work well. And finally, I'll tell you about the contributions we are making as the WIMEA ICT project to customizing the WOLF model for East Africa. Um, so, in general, I think you'll agree with me that weather information is vital for decision-making in several sectors, uh, in agriculture, in aviation, in health, ETC, and especially with the climate change paradigm now. Uh, the other fact is that weather services in East Africa still rely on very outdated methods for weather prediction. And um, this we qualified by a baseline study we did about a year and a half ago. Um, this applies to from the process of collecting the data to transmitting it to the processing centers, to analyzing and processing it, and then disseminating it back to the end users. Everything is very manual and uh, problematic. The WOLF model is one of the most popular numerical weather prediction models. And yeah, that is being used world over uh, to make, to automate weather predictions. Uh, in general, numerical weather prediction models are used to predict weather and climate. And this is done by solving atmospheric governing equations. So WOLF is one of many NWP models, but uh, it is the most popular. And it's designed for both operational and research projects. And we will start from the research side, uh, driving it towards the operational side. Uh, the relevance of the WOLF model for East Africa um, in general, there is a large variation of uh, the terrain in East Africa and also a very sparse distribution of weather stations, which means that the data that is collected from these weather stations is not representative of every part of, the, of any given country for weather and climate forecasting. A uh, case in point is in Uganda, there are 12 synoptic weather stations. So, and Uganda is 250,000 square kilometers. With data from 12 weather stations, it could never be representative to accurately predict weather forecasts. So the WOLF model comes in handy. Uh, it can be used given the little data that is available. It can still be used to to, to do some relatively accurate predictions. And um, yeah, 
uh, the other good thing about the WOLF model is that it has been used for many studies and it's updated quite frequently, so there is a low risk of it becoming obsolete. So what are its requirements to work well? One, it is free, so it's a free software license, so there is no cost attached to it. For educational purposes, it can be run on a simple computer. So in terms of capacity building, uh, there is no much demand for computing resources. However, for extensive research, as well as operational purposes, there are some requirements in terms of uh, a dedicated computer lab or a supercomputer for that matter with uh, uh, good memory and processing power to run the models. Uh, the exact specifications for that depends on the area of prediction as well as the resolution. Uh, if you want a resolution of up to 10 kilometers, that requires much more resources than a resolution of up to 100 kilometers, for example. And there's also a need to train the operators in the WRF model and especially programming skills for them to customize it and to try out all sorts of, of parameterizations. And there is need for fast and reliable internet to facilitate the boundary conditions. And uh, the boundary conditions, the WOLF model should be run at least four times every day, at zero hours, at six hours, 12 hours, and 18 hours. And for each run, they need to get the boundary conditions for that time. Um, and those would be conditions based on the parameters that you're using to run the model. Temperature, wind, cloud cover, solar radiation, ETC. So uh, there's also need for a good internet connection to download the geographical conditions. I didn't include that here because that is necessary only once when you do the setup. But the, the four times every day for the weather parameters is, is a requirement in order for it to update and not just run with the previous, previous data. Okay, so finally, uh, having understood the requirements for the WOLF model to run well, we are making some contributions as a project. The Wimea ICT project is a NORAD-funded project uh, under the NOHEAD program, and its partners include the University of Bergen, Makere University, Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology, and the University of Juba in South Sudan. And uh, we have a component of training on the EWOLF uh, targeting participants from within and beyond East Africa, and this is ongoing with over 100 participants. Um, in addition to that, this project generally aims at improving weather information management, including, um, particularly to emphasize here, is how the forecasts are predicted. And this is being implemented, the research part is being implemented through seven PhD projects that are starting this year to 2018. Uh, hopefully with uh, those outputs being achieved at the end. Customizing the world for operational purposes in East Africa. And that really means that we'll be able to get forecasts from this model, uh, at least especially for the three East African countries involved, uh, Uganda, Tanzania, and, and South Sudan. Uh, there'll also be a consideration for use of spatial data to improve the accuracy for places without stations. But also there is a component for designing an affordable automatic weather station, and then producing about 70 of those to densify the weather station network in the region. Uh, we also plan to create or expand weather digital weather data repositories, expand this in places where they exist, but create from scratch, for example, in, Tanzan in South Sudan, where there is nothing completely. 
And then finally, to improve the weather information dissemination system uh, through mobile phones and other more convenient means. Thank you very much.